Ten years ago, the palliative care physician, Dr. Ira Bayok, published an important book, The Four Things That Matter Most. The subtitle was A Book About Living. Dr. Bayok knew that palliative care at the time was associated with hospice and end-of-life care, which is why, along with hospice philosophy, he emphasized that what he had to say was, in fact, like hospice care, about living. And, like today's gospel, about forgiving. The four things that matter most for a family to say to one another with their whole hearts are, please forgive me, I forgive you, thank you, I love you. In today's gospel, the disciples are asking Jesus how many times they should forgive each other. And he replies famously, 70 times seven, or always. The parable which follows oddly does not illustrate the saying. The king is generous, forgiving 70 times seven, or totally, but the servant is not generous and is severely punished. The passage from Daniel tells us that if we follow God with our whole hearts, God will deal with us with kindness and great mercy. And the Psalm 25 emphasizes the same, God's compassion, kindness, and goodness. Even the gospel acclamation of the mass picks up the theme from Joel too. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Although the parable does not fit neatly with the introductory saying, it does tell us that we who have received great forgiveness from God, the large amount the first debtor owed, we often refuse to forgive one another even a small offense. How often has this happened in your life? The Lord asks us to forgive as we have been forgiven. That is, with great generosity, infinitely. And the more deeply we realize this, the more we grasp that we who have been greatly forgiven are called to action, to resistance to oppression, to building a world of peace and justice for all. But forgiveness is not simple, not easy, and grace, as Dietrich Bonhoeffer wrote, is not cheap. Real forgiveness requires first remembering, which is often painful. Only God in forgiving forgets. Forgiving is about us, you and me, not about the one who has offended us and certainly, and unfortunately, not about the institutions or systems which have oppressed us. Asking for forgiveness from another person, however, is healing for us. We realize that we cannot change the past and we cannot control the one who hurt us, but we also need not allow the offense to control our future. Forgiving is healing for the one who forgives. Father, forgive them. God knows that. Pope Francis suggested that we put our own lives, quote, under the scrutiny of the scriptures. May we all lay ourselves open to being converted by the power of God's word and God's spirit in the hope that changing ourselves by God's grace, behaviors and relationships in the community might begin to change. 
What behavior might you change this Lent? Who might I ask to forgive me? Who might I forgive? While Dr. Bayok offered his wisdom to families facing end of life situations, it is a wisdom by which we might live our own daily lives now. Please forgive me. I forgive you. Thank you. I love you.